having a large budget to execute your AI infrastructure can be as limiting as not having any money at all if you don't combine it with the right mix. In this video, I will show you the right mix between infrastructure and exploration so you can scale up AI in any business. Hi there, I'm Kelvin Fernandez, co-founder and CEO of New AI, and welcome to another AI show. In this one, I will show you the right trade-off between infrastructure and exploration of new AI use cases. So it's quite common that whenever you know a new leads arrive and they are like um, a large corporation, they tell us like you know we want to implement AI, but we are not sure if this is the right timing because we are going through our digital transformation process, because we are right now building our migrating our infrastructure to the cloud, because we are right now building our data warehouse, because we are cleaning our data because we don't believe in our data. So basically they are trying to basically delay the decision. Okay, so they want to delay the decision of getting into AI to the next year. Why? Because they are afraid of what it means to get into the AI. And that is actually the, the reason why we are building these AI shots, just to clear out any doubt you may have around AI, okay? The opposite behavior is quite common on early stage startups, okay? They just want to get like to the next use case. They want to try the next thing. They want to explore a new idea. They want to learn about a new issue without working in the right infrastructure to support any of these applications, any of these use cases, okay? So we have these two personas and to get to respond to these two behaviors, which can be dramatically catastrophic if you, if, if you do it like stubbornly like getting into the infrastructure and delaying AI for, for a lot of time or getting into AI without the right infrastructure. So we build this matrix that we call the Lean AI Strategy Matrix. It's basically inspired on this book, okay, that you should read. I guess that if you are on the on the business side, you already read it. If you're on the technical side, I strongly recommend it because it will give you very good ideas on how to prioritize your approach to, to a certain problem. Okay, so let's go over this lean strategy matrix. So we have on one side infrastructure, okay, and on the other side we have exploration. Okay, corps, as I said, typically are here, so they want you know to have a large infrastructure with not much exploration, without much room for learning. Why? Basically, because they are aiming to robustness. Okay. So they want processes that are quite robust, okay, that they are solved. And basically they are trying to think about the long-term growth. So they want to have something that will scale in the future, regardless of what is that thing that will scale. Okay? They want something that will scale with, up to their capacity. On this other side, we have startups, okay? And they are here basically because they want to stay agile. They want to you know the flexibility that brings not having a, a large, a massive infrastructure. And of course here they want speed. Okay, they don't have a lot of cash. So they want to try things as fast as possible to, you know, reach market. Okay, the two corners here are kind of destructive. Okay, this one here, especially destructive. I don't recommend it. This one here, kind of help can let you grow, will let you grow, but at some point it's too risky to stay here. Of course, you want to avoid having no infrastructure and no exploration at all, because you will get out of it a business and in no time. But you know, what is the right approach here? You should go build infrastructure first and then try to explore how to use it to get into the AI, or you should try to get into AI and then build the right infrastructure. Okay. And this is basically what I want to bring you here. By the way, in the description, there is a link where you can download this matrix if you want to use it internally. Okay, so what is my, my the mindset I like, I like to apply regardless of whether you are a startup or a corporate? So if you are trying AI, it's a new thing, and you should follow this agile, this lean strategy, okay? So my approach is first work on exploration, work on learning, work on understanding, what kind of use cases you can solve, what is the potential impact, what kind of do so pilots of concepts to actually you know understand what you can get from the AI. As you validate these ideas, build the infrastructure to support, to make them stay stable, to make them grow in a hands-off manner, okay, in autopilot without worrying that it will slow next time. Okay. But first of all, explore, first of all, learn what you can do with AI, regardless of whether or not you have a big budget. Or if you are an early start stage startup, you should follow this approach. As you get some cash flow, 
start investing in infrastructure, explore a bit more, try and invest in infrastructure. So you get to this green area here. Okay. What is the opposite? And I have seen a lot of corporates doing this is building like an infrastructure, but they still don't know what kind of use cases that infrastructure will need to support. So they start making decisions that, you know, creates here like a wall that then will will not let them explore those use cases in the future. Okay? Because the infrastructure becomes too you know too strict. They, it doesn't allow any exploration on that side. So this is like a massive risk, okay? Then then they can take. Okay. So let me give you an example of what kind of decisions you can take around this. Let's say you are working on, on lead score. Okay, you want to transform more leads if you saw our video on on 11 marketing use cases, you for sure know already about lead scoring. What will be an exploration uh, use case here? You know, basically doing like a campaign of trying to convert some leads with some manual rule, manually defined model, like an ad hoc. Okay, you explore on that. Once you do that, then you work on some infrastructure, like building the processes to actually do this massively or to to execute multiple types of treatments for each lead score, or to get pilots with different treatments with each lead. Then you do some additional exploration, like not doing leads, lead scoring, but trying to do lead conversion, so the right treatment for, for each lead. And then, you know, you work on the all the model supervision, MLOps, DevOps, etc., that you need to support all of these models then in parallel run, uh, running around. So this is the, the way I will do it. If you actually watch uh, my last video on who to hire first, a data analyst, a data engineer, I will leave the link on the end. You for sure know that I recommend you to first hire your data analyst, data scientist, because that is exploration, okay? Data scientist will let you explore. The data engineer will let you build infrastructure, okay? What is the risk of doing the opposite? Basically, you will build an infrastructure not knowing what kind of use cases you will need to support, okay? So my advice for you is first, understand what you are trying to solve, understand your problem, and then move to the infrastructure that you will need to do to support this in the long run. If you like this video, remember like, subscribe, and activate the notifications. Remember there is bonus content uh, with these metrics in case you want to use internal. See you soon, bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.